Hey guys! So it's been a really long time since I've been on here and shared a video, but I have some really exciting things to share with you guys and I wanted to get this filmed so I can start playing with it. And yeah, so this weekend I actually went to the Great American Scrapbook Convention in Arlington, Texas. Um, it, it's actually um, a convention, the CK Scrapbook Convention, Creative Keepsakes, uh, Creating Keepsakes. I'm new to um, paper crafting and all of this is new to me, so please forgive if I speak incorrectly or if... Um, I don't know a name or something. I'm still learning, but I really enjoyed it. I actually went a few years ago to the same convention here in Houston, but I wasn't into paper crafting at the time, so it wasn't as exciting, but I did some serious damage <laughs> shopping-wise um, this weekend, and I wanted to share with you all the goodies that I got, um, but this was the little program that we got. Um, I did color mine because, I mean... I had to. I'll try to put down as much information in the description box as I can. Um, they do have some upcoming dates on the schedule for the rest of the year, so I will go ahead and list those dates down below. And mean, I will try to list as many vendor information, as much vendor information as I can down below. Um, but I went for an hour on. Friday just to do a little bit of shopping and then on Saturday I spent the whole day uh, my friend and I did three workshops they have a bunch of different classes that you can choose from and I will show you guys um, some of the projects that we worked on during those um, classes and then we shopped a lot so I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side and then I'm going to jump into what I bought over the weekend so I can start playing with them and then I will show you some of the projects from the workshops and yeah, so let's go. First thing is I want to show you guys, they gave at check-in, everybody did get a tote bag, um, just a reusable tote bag. I'm sorry, I'll try to take pictures and pop it on the screen here if I can, but it's really pretty. It's got like this turquoise or minty blue, some florals in the corner, and it says create beautiful memories. So there was that. Every ticket holder got one of those, and then one of the shops that I shopped with gave me another tote for sending it, spending a certain amount of money. You got to choose the tote you wanted, so I got this really cute um, palm tree uh, bag. So that was those two. And I do want to apologize. Like I said, I am new to everything, so if I don't know the name of something or if it's um, incorrect, please be nice. <laughs> you can definitely correct me so I can learn, um, but I am still learning, um, and I will list as much in vendor information as I can down below, so if I don't know the vendor name off the top of my head, I'll definitely list it below. But um, the first vendor that I went to, they actually had a lot of good deals. I actually am really into card making and shakers, so a lot of the stuff you'll see from me is stamps and dies. Hold on one second, my dogs. <laughs> okay, sorry. So the first thing I got was this tall 3D foam strips. It's uh, two, um, two little foam uh, squares, and it's just these long, skinny strips. They are uh, for building walls for shakers. Um, the guy kind of talked me into it, so I picked up those up. And these items, these next couple items, they were actually marked to five dollars, which is a great deal. So I got this die. It's kind of one of the, well, not kind of, it is. It's a rainbow, but it's a misshapen, kind of wobbly. But I'm really excited to play with this one. I got this stamp pad of these different words and sentiments which for five dollars that is so good and I love the um, font on these so that got that one 
I got this set of nesting tags for $5. It doesn't have the brand on them, but I got that. Then this one was also $5. It's an Easter egg, and it has Mickey heads inside of it with some floral, which is really cute. I'm so excited to play with this one. So I got that. And then these I got from the same vendor, but they were not $5. It's the Disney... Um, font. It says happy birthday and it has the Mickey ears on it, the B and the P of happy and then birthday. I got this. Uh, it's kind of, it's not an embossing folder, but it, like I said, excuse me if I don't know the correct verbiage, but it, it basically imprints the Disney or the Mickey heads on your page. And then I got this, which I'm really excited about. It's this, um, these, I guess the frames, are they, is that what they're called? The borders? But they have Mickey heads all the way around. They're so stinking cute. So that was all from one shop. I'm really excited to play with those and make some Disney cards. So we'll move on to the next, next thing. Okay, so this these two are actually just miscellaneous. Um, I, these were the only, about one item at one vendor and then another one at another vendor. Um, so this one was actually in a um, sale bin and it's two football helmets and they're actually really good sizes. Um, they were five, uh, I'm sorry, $3 for this. That is insane. I'm going to open it up. Oh, it's in another pack, but yeah. Oh, no, I like this. Okay, so it's got, like, the layered piece right there. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, this football helmet, it was $3 for this. That is insanely awesome. Let's see if it tells me who is this from. Uh, Cheryl Lynn Design. Sherry Lynn Designs right there. So, I'm really excited about that to make some football-themed cards. And then this other miscellaneous item that I, this is the only thing I bought from one of the vendors, was this set of two men, um, which I really love. They had, a, at this booth, they had a bunch of examples. So they had man and woman for groom and bride. But I really loved the idea of potentially making a card for a groom and a groom. Um, because you don't really see that. So it says happy anniversary, there's wedding, birthday, and if you see, there's a bunch of different options to kind of spruce up your guys. So you got different ties, you got a bow tie, you got a, uh, it looks like buttons that you could put onto their shirts, a couple of drinks, there's sunglasses, there's a little like drink here, you could put a different garnish inside of it. So I'm really excited to play with this because I thought that would be really nice to make a groom and a groom um, or like two men for an anniversary. So I'm really excited to play with this. So that was them too. This is from Creek Bank Creations. It helps whenever it's said on the um, packaging. But I got two... Um, uh, dies and then uh, some stamps that kind of go with them uh, with the theme but this die set it's just a cute little layered band-aid or bandage so you see you've got your pieces there you got your little square and then the heart in the middle so I'm really excited to play with this one I got just a basic rainbow die I didn't have one so I'm so excited to play with that and make some really pretty rainbows and to go with that I got this set of stamps and it's just got some sunshine sentiments and I thought that would be cute to add to a rainbow card so I got that and then the next set of dies was the set of two donuts you get a large donut you get a smaller donut and then you get the icing that goes on top of them and then I die to make the sprinkles. So I got that one. And then I also got some sentiment stamps for, uh, 
that goes with that. It has some donut themed uh, words there. So you do not, do not look another year older. Do not forget you're awesome with sprinkles on top. So I thought that would be really cute to make a donut themed card. So that was from Creek Bank Creations. And I'm really excited about those. And we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so this one, these are really fun. I got a bunch of little um, eyelet brads. Uh, or brads, they're not eyelets. So these are brads. So I got a bunch of cute little designs. So um, this one is just some different colored hearts. You got pink, white, and red. I got a set of gingerbread people. There's little gingerbreads that have green bow ties and dots, red, and then I think there's a couple of pink ones in there as well. Then I got Mr. and Mrs. Claus. These are so cute. So the brads, they, they come with the little um, piece here on the back that you can like pull apart and oh, I can't get it with my, there we go there we go good little pieces there that kind of spread apart I don't know if you guys can see that but um, they actually pop off really easily and I will show you in one of the workshops we actually used brads and popped off the little pieces on the back and you just used foam to layer that onto a card that we made I got a set of colored flowers. There's a pink, like a fuchsia, and a yellow. I got this set that they're all white flowers. I hope the lighting's okay, guys. I'm sorry. My business all needs me. Okay. Hopefully that's better. This set right here is kind of Harry Potter themed-esque. You got the round glasses and then there's wands in there. You can't really, I don't know if you can tell, but there's some scarves. There's the Gryffindor colors and then there's also Slytherin. So you got a couple of, or one of those. And then this one, it is a set of Mickey Mouse gears. So those are really cute. I don't know if you guys can tell. So yeah, I'm really excited about those and we'll move on to the next shop. Okay, so one of the classes or workshops that I did was with Petticoat Parlor and we made some cards and um, I really enjoyed them. I loved the way that they came out. So I stopped by their booth and they had some um, products from the, the supplies that we used. So I got these sticker outlines. I don't know. Yeah, you can see they're black, but they have the different, um, so you basically, you peel out the outline and I'll show you with my workshop product um, what I did with them. So I've got the different dogs and then I got a set of cacti. So a bunch of different cacti. Sorry for the glare. And then I also got a unicorn card kit. This makes three cards and it comes with everything you need. So it comes with the um, outline stickers for the um, unicorns and then a bunch of other decor, some glitter paper, and then some other items to make yourself some cards. So got that little kit. And then I also got this micro fine glitter paper from them as well, which we used this paper during the workshop and I really loved it. So I bought, it's only two sheets and it was $5 for two squares, but I'm going to be super stingy on these and I am really excited to play with these because I will, sh like I said, once again, I will show you what we did with it and it was really fun. So let's see here. It looks like I only have one more shop or one more vendor that I shopped with. Then we will move to the workshops and that'll be a wrap. Okay, so this one I may be most excited about. <laughs> so we'll get the big item out of the way first. I bought myself a Misty and I got the larger size. It's 
so amazing. So it's basically a um, precision stamping board um, for your um, clear stamps. And I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I have had this in my Amazon cart for a long time. And I told myself if I found a vendor that had one, I would get it because they are very pricey. Um, the vendor did see that I was looking at <laughs> while standing in the booth at this on my Amazon app to see how much it was. And she gave me a little bit of a discount. Plus you also got a discount in um, for shopping her over the weekend. So um, I could not pass on this. I'm so excited. It was definitely my biggest purchase, but I cannot wait to play with this. If you guys want to see me playing with this, please let me know and we will test it out together because I have not used it. I've opened it. I've looked at it, but I've not used it yet. So if you guys want to see me use it, please let me know and I will make a video. But from the same a vendor I also bought some other items I got a few items from Lawn Fawn I got this shark stamp set which I'm so excited about if you know me you know I love sharks I have a shark tattoo here on my wrist <laughs> but I love sharks so I'm really excited about this they didn't have the matching die so I may have to go online and see if I can find it from somebody and then I got this set of cute little Christmas weenies, <laughs> like little weenie dogs, Dotsons. Um, so I'm really excited. It's called, I haven't even been telling you the names of everything. I'm so sorry. Like I said, I will list everything down below that I can. Um, but they're so cute. You could use them more than just for Christmas. But it does have a strand of Christmas lights. You got a bone with a bow on it. Uh, it looks like that's some... Um, reindeer antlers and then it says I rough you happy holidays may all your days be furry and bright so that was really cute and then I got the matching die set to go with that so I'm really excited about that this one I'm also really excited about too because I just started following um, pretty pink posh on Instagram I saw a lady on TikTok using uh, this exact stamp and I really wanted it and I got so excited when I saw it in person so if you see it's just like this big circle and it's got a whole bunch of little birthday designs um, there's balloons cake presents so it's just a birthday themed um, stamp set and then this last one I'm really excited about as well. This is from Mama Elephants. And it's these cute little hamsters. How adorable. There's some themed ones like Christmas and birthday. There's one that's holding a paintbrush. One that has a, like a little letter. Some balloons. They were just so stinking adorable. They're like an inch tall each. They're so cute. I had to get this. And then I did get the matching die set for this. Now the die set was definitely a splurge for this. This was very pricey but I, I thought it was definitely worth it. So I'm so excited to make a whole bunch of tiny mini hamsters. So I think that's it regarding shops and all of the vendors. So I will show you the um, some of the workshops that we did and uh, I'll share the projects that we made. So we'll be right back. Okay, so the first workshop that I did was called an Owlsome Card Duo, and that was put uh, hosted by Petticoat Parlor, who they were actually a vendor, like I said. Um, so let's see here. We'll share this one first. We made two di uh, two cards. So these are the cards that we made. Oh no, I can't find. I don't know where so we for the background we used a Faber Castell gelato um, and I can't find it I don't know where it is but we stamped out the owl and we colored them we stamped everything out so we made these cards in class and like I was saying earlier the brads the this is an example of what we did with them so if you can tell maybe we just took the little metal pieces off the back of the brads and then we put them on some foam and just popped it up a little bit. 
cards. These are really cute and I love how we cut the card down the side here and we put this decorative piece of paper with the trees. So that was really cute. That was the first card that we made. This was the second one. So these are those outline stickers that I was telling you about and if I don't know if you guys could tell but the it's actually glittered. And what we did was we used that glitter paper that I told you guys that I really liked about or really liked and I bought a and we used alcohol markers straight onto the glitter paper and it turned out really really pretty. So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to play with some more of these outline stickers. So it's just a card. And then this is the um, just the inside of that outline. So if you wanted to, you could still use this just with transfer tape and then transfer your um, the rest of the owl over to whatever project you wanted. So we did use two markers for the trees, which uh, we were able to keep. So I got a green one and a brown one. This is the leftover of the tree paper. We also were able to keep a set of the tree um, stamps, which I'm really excited about. These will be really fun during Christmas and fall time. And before we left the class, I just went and I stamped three more of the owls so I can use them in future projects of my own since I did not purchase the owl stamp itself. But he told us that we could go ahead and stamp them so we could have the sheet or have the prints for future projects. So that was that. And then the next workshop I did. Okay, let's see here. We've got a lot going on over here. Okay, so the next workshop I did was um, coloring with Spectrum Noir um, Sparkle Pins, which was put on by Just Crop. And this is the pen we got to play with. We Everybody was gifted a black glitter pen. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them. I wanted, I was very interested in them, so I wanted to take the class to learn how to use them and see them in action. I'm excited, I'm happy that we got to play with them a bit, but I personally would not purchase them for myself. But if you're really into coloring or calligraphy and things like that, I feel like this would be a great purchase because the they are really, really pretty. I just don't do calligraphy and things like that um, and I like my alcohol markers that I use so we were able to take that pin home we were also given a bunch of these little wood chips to play with I don't know if you guys could see the sparkle on them because the um, pens can write on multiple different services so they were letting us test them out so we tested them out on these wood chips and then we there were two sets of um you either got a frog packet or a turtle packet i got the frog and my friend got the turtle so i got to keep the frog um, stamp sets and my friend actually won a giveaway where they were giving away the frog die set so she gave that to me too so I have the matching die set to that stamp set and then we just kind of played with the different colored um, glitter pens and we were passing them around the room and that's the turtle set that my friend had, and then this is the frog I had. We colored it, I made myself a little card just with the hour time that we had while we were testing the pens. And there's just a bunch of little sheets of paper that were added. Um, and then here's another pre-folded um, card, or a sheet of paper for a card. Just a bunch of extra paper. And then I won a just it was basically just stamped um, sentiment and flowers from a previous class that they did so I made myself a little card with that so I used the glitter pins that we were using in the class to color the flowers and then just put the sentiment on this card so that was that workshop 
And then the last workshop, which was probably my favorite, and I'm really excited about it, and I'm probably going to make a whole video flipping through, but it was a Texas mini album with Shaker, and it was also put on by Just Crop. So I'll give you guys just a sneak peek of what it looks like. And I'm so excited about this album. It came out so cute. I've never done anything like this before. So this was really, really exciting for me. So keep an eye out for another video where I do a flip through of that. And then they did a giveaway in the class where I uh, won and I um, got, oops, sorry about that. I got a pack of Texas themed paper. So that's really fun since I live in Texas. It'll be really fun to play with that. So I hope you guys really enjoyed my video and please give me any tips or tricks um, on how you guys use your products. Please share your favorite paper crafters. I want to start following more people. And like I said, I will try to list below as many vendors and as much information I can regarding the actual convention itself. And yeah, so... I am so ready to go and start playing with all of this. Well, not this one. This one's already complete. But all of the stamps and dies. I'm so excited to go play with them. So, um, hope you guys have a good weekend. And I will talk to you later. Bye.